there, it's Renee. Hey, this is it. We are at the very last page in our National Stamping Month Memories in the Making Cut Above Kit. And this, this day we are going to do December. Now, I'm not sure how I feel about the December page. I love Christmas. It is one of my most favorite holidays. I absolutely adore it. I like Christmas in traditional colors. I even like Christmas in non-traditional colors, which um, just as a sneak peek, you're gonna see some non-traditional um, kits for Christmas that I'll be doing some videos on. Um, I actually got my shipment today. Um, told myself you gotta finish filming these before you can open anything else. So um, we'll go ahead and get started with, Christmas, with the December page. This is our December page right here. Um, so we'll go ahead and put it together see what we think. Um, if anyone has any ideas for how to make this maybe a little more Christmassy, feel free to share, um, but we will get started. So here's our background, which I absolutely love. It has a very um, chalkboardy look, but still yet that watercolor. I really like, I really, really like this paper. So I'm hoping that the fact that I really like the background will help me, um, will encourage me and give me some sort of an inspiration on how to make this a little more Christmassy like I would like. So we're gonna go ahead and make the page exactly as it is in the instructions. And then if I turn around and do anything different with the page at the end of, you know, when I, when I finally get my pictures in, I'll come back and tell you about it. So the other things that we have is we have this, um, rainbow piece, we have a gray piece, we have our photo mat and our placeholder, and the photo this time is going to be portrait. We have these two that go on the side of our photo mat. We have a small little journaling spot, a little heart, these two hearts, and then this is, I'm gonna to try to get it, see if it works. Always kind of hard to tell if you can see it. It says together. You'll see it great when we put it down on the page. So let's go ahead and get started. And I think what I'll do first is I will build, I will build my photo, my photo area. So we will go ahead and do just a little bit of tape on that as usual. Um, I know I've said it before, but I hate to break a record that my husband and I are going to be using this as our calendar in our kitchen. And then um, every month we'll be taking pictures and um, making ourselves some memories for the year. And then when the year is over, I'm going to put it all into a scrapbook and have a whole year done. So that'll be awesome. Okay, so these ones do not have a one-way direction. And I want as much of the paper to show as possible. So I am going to use my little, my little tape. Oh, if I can get the tape off. Oh, that tape got all messed up. We're not gonna use that tape. Let's get another piece of tape. Okay, there we go. Okay, so it looks like it's centered on the sides. So we'll go ahead and tape that down get it to stay in place and then we'll do the same on the other side again it's doesn't have a one-way design so it doesn't you don't have to check it and flip it over and we will go ahead tape this one and tape this one okay so it looks really good already you know if this wasn't if this wasn't the Christmas the December layout I'd probably really really love it already so but we shall see. Um, I'm gonna wait to put this down after it's down on the page. Um, the same thing with the heart that goes on the side over here. So I think we're done with this piece for the moment. So what we have now is we have these two pieces. Um, I'm gonna do the, the tape method on these two pieces as well. So let's get them straight. Get a piece of tape there. And since this one has is so large, I'm gonna put some in the middle too. Okay. And right there. And let's turn it over and make sure that we don't have any gaps, and we do not. So we can put our tape away because we're done with the tape. Okay, so it says that we are going to place this on the page uh, one and a half down and one and a half over. 
Okay, so let's go ahead and let's set this for one and a half. Okay, and we'll get some adhesive on the back here. And I'll try to go slow so this thing isn't quite so squeaky for you. Oh, it was still squeaky, wasn't it? Yikes! I think it might be getting worse. I may end up having to change out that tape even though I don't want to. Okay, so one and a half. And then we need to be over one and a half, which is about right here. I think that looks good. Yep. That works perfectly. All right. It is a really pretty page. I will give it that. It is a pretty page. I get to keep telling myself that. <laughs> okay. So now what we need to do is three quarters of an inch down and two and three eighths over from the edge of this, this page, this part of the page, is where we put our photo mat. So three quarters down and two and three eighths in. So let's see where we are. We are at one and a half. So if we add two and three eighths to one and a half, we're going to be at three. Is that three and seven eighths? So three and seven eighths. Unfortunately, the Versamat doesn't go in eighths, it only goes in quarters. But I'm just going to look at between three and three quarters and four and just take right down the middle, okay? And then we need to come down three quarters of an inch. So we're gonna be about right here. So the one problem that we're gonna have though is we have this piece off to the edge and it needs to be there. So I think what we're going to have to do is we are going to have to come in three quarters of an inch from the top. So we had, we're down one and a half, add three quarters. So that's gonna be two and a quarter. Is that correct? One, two and a quarter. Okay, so I think we're gonna to have to do it that way. And then we know that we need to be in two and three eighths. So if we go one, two and three eighths is right there. So let's dry, let's dry place that and see what we think. Does that look about right? I think it does. Okay. So as much as I complained about math in school, I actually do use it from time to time. So I guess it's good that I paid a little bit of attention when they were teaching you how to add fractions. Mm. Okay, so we were gonna do one, two, and three eighths. And we've already got this set. So I think, there we go. I think that's gonna be our placement. Okay, so let's go ahead, we'll put this down. It goes over here. That's a little spot for you to put your date or any kind of a little journaling you wanna do. Now there are some other things that we can do that I wanted to share with you once we got to this last layout. There are some other things that we can do when we go to put this in a photo album. Um, a lot of us are not used to scrapbooking just one picture on a layout. We're used to putting a lot of pictures on a layout. So something you can do to increase the number of pictures you have on your layout is to use our flip flaps. Um, what our flip flaps are is they are plastic pouches that are adhesive. So what you do is you place this page into your photo album. Once you have it in your photo album, then you place the on top of on top of your page protector. You're going to place your flip flap, and it has an adhesive strip. You glue it down onto the actual page protector. You put another picture in, and it becomes an interactive piece in your entire um, your entire book. So. That's an idea. Um, we also have some partial pages, and I'll show you those um, in another video, but we have some partial page protectors that actually have sleeves for your pictures, and they only take up um, maybe, you know, part of the page. We have four-inch ones. We have six-inch ones. 
Um, so those may be a way to add some more photos if you decide that you, you know, you really want to incorporate these pages into some other layouts. <clears throat> so I wanted to share that now that we're getting to the end. And I hope that you've really enjoyed these projects. I hope you see that even if you're not a scrapbooker or don't think you are, you can do this. This is so simple. Everything is already cut out for you. And all you have to do is follow a picture and stick things down. And I hope if you felt like you couldn't do something like this, that watching, watching these videos will help you. And you can get your kit and you can try it along with me, see how it works. Um, our, cut of, our cut above kits are wonderful. We have several of them. Um, and I'm sure we will have more. Um, they have been a really, really popular. People have really liked them. Um, <clears throat> so I hope you give it a try. And um, I truly believe that everybody can do this. And telling your stories is so important. Okay, the very last thing we need to do is pull off this word. Now, I don't know if you can see it, but the word is in two pieces. So I think what we're gonna wanna do is, let's do the smaller piece first, because I can see exactly where that needs to um, lay out. So let's get our little pieces out. And I'm really sorry that this is white on white, because I think that makes it really hard for you to see. But you'll see it soon. As soon as I lay it down, I'm sure you'll see it very well. Okay, so we'll pull this out. We have one more little piece to get okay and there we go okay so when we look at the picture you can see that the top of the T is in line with this black piece so I think what we'll try to do is do that and then line up the O just a little bit above the top the bottom of this gray stripe okay so we will line up this, line up the T, and I think, I think that'll work. There we go. So there's the T-O-G, and now we'll put the other. Okay. Pull up this little piece. I'm gonna bring my little thing over here so you can see what I'm doing. Um, this is my, I just keep using the same baby wipe until it either completely dries out, which this one's really dry now, or it's completely full of stuff. So, and I just use the ones from Sam's. They're nothing, they're nothing spectacular. Um, there are some, that, and actually it's the more expensive brands that I've noticed have like a, a they get like fibers everywhere. So I'm not really, I don't really like those too much because if I'm wiping something off, I don't want all the little pieces of fiber. Um, so I think maybe the cheap ones are probably a better way to go. Okay. Okay, there we go. There's our other word. Okay, so let's look at this. So we wanna line it up with that G so that it touches with the E. And the E and the H are both right about at the bottom of this gray stripe piece. So we will we will do that. And the H, I think. Yeah. That looks great. And just push it down good so that it doesn't come up. And there we go. There are all of our pages done. Um, I hope you enjoyed watching me put these pages together. Um, I will probably come back and show you the whole calendar once it is put together. I've got to stamp all of the all of those months, and I have to say I'm a little I'm a little worried about stamping the months, but I shouldn't be because I've said it before. If you make a mistake, you can just cover it up with a piece of paper and put some you know and change it. So. Um, I will be doing that next and I will come back and show you once everything is put together 
And um, I hope you enjoyed this. If you like seeing these kind of things where I put together complete kits, um, do let me know that you like that so I know to keep doing it. And um, thank you so much for watching, and I hope you have a great day.